Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel MBA Mohit Sharma. Today I am going to talk about a very important concept of Lean Six Sigma which is multiple regression. I myself have seen so many videos on multiple regression but have not found any video which is explaining the minute working of this tool. So I am making an attempt to create multiple regression video which will help you understand how to do that in Minitab. So friends, in this video we will talk about what is multiple regression, what is multicollinearity, what is R square adjusted and R square predicted values. So let's get started with the video. So today's topic of discussion is multiple regression. Multiple regression is an extension of simple linear regression. It is used when we want to predict the value of dependent variable based on the value of two or more other independent variables. The variable we want to predict is called the dependent variable or sometimes the outcome, the target, or criteria variable. So let us take an example to understand this better. In a call center, Blackwell wants to study the relation of call cycle time with hold time and number of times the call is put on hold. In this example, call cycle time is dependent variable and hold time and number of times a call is put on hold are independent variables. So friends, in this example, I have pasted call data of 80 calls in which I have call cycle time in column number C2. I have hold time in that particular call in column number C3. And the number of times a call was put on hold, I have that data in column C4. So in this, as I have already explained, call cycle time is dependent variable and hold time and number of holds are independent variables. We will study these variables independently like call cycle time with hold time first and then call cycle time with number of holds second and then we will, we will study them together as well like call cycle time with hold time and number of holds. And the path in Minitab is stat, regression, regression, fit regression model. In response variable, you add call cycle time and in continuous predictor you add hold time. So when we are creating a regression model, we need to test both the independent variables with the dependent variable first and then we will test both of them together with our independent variable which is call cycle time. So what I mean is First, we need to test call cycle time with hold time and then we will test call cycle time with number of holds and in the end, we will test call cycle time with hold time and number of holds together. So in this case, I am testing call cycle time with hold time and I am clicking OK. Now, if you look at the P value of this data, which is 0 0.000 indicates that there is statistically significant impact of hold time on cycle time of the call. If you look at the R square adjusted value, which is 95.94%, which is greater than 65%, indicates that moment of the hold time will influence the cycle time of the call. It means when the high, hold time is high, the cycle time would also be high. And when the hold time is low or zero, it would reduce the cycle time. Now I will take you to the presentation slides where I have put in some data from Minitab for further understanding. While doing multiple regression, I will look at the F value, the P value, the S value, R square adjusted value, R square prediction, VIF which is called variance inflation factor. We will look at this data for hold time, number of holds and then hold time and number of holds together. As I have shown you in Minitab, the F value of this data is 1869.63, P value is 0 0.000, S is 0 0.213, S is basically the uh, distance of each point from the regression line which the system is creating, which the Minitab is creating. R square adjusted value is 95.94 and R square prediction is 95.81. So uh, the difference between R square adjusted and R square prediction should not be high for a good model. So in this case, 
it is working well for us and VIF value is variance inflation factor which is 1 this value should be 1 or very close to 1 and it says that there is no multicollinearity let us also learn what is multicollinearity in statistics multicollinearity is a phenomenon in which one predictor variable in a multiple regression model can be linearly predicted from the other with a substantial degree of accuracy Multicollinearity occurs when independent variable in a regression model are correlated. This correlation is a problem because independent variable should be independent. If the degree of correlation between variables is high enough, it can cause problems when you fit the model and interpret the results. Likewise, the same values can be calculated for number of holds. So the F value of 58.7, P value of 0.00, S value of 0.806, R square adjusted value of 42.24, R square predicted value of 39.90 and VIF factor of 1, R square adjusted value of 42.24% which is less than 65% indicates that there is not a strong relationship between number of holds and call cycle time. Now let us go to Minitab again and see how to run multiple regression for hold time and number of holds together. And the path is same, regression, regression, fit regression model. In responses enter call cycle time. In continuous predictor you add hold time and number of holds together and click OK. Now look at these values, VIF value of 1.74, R square adjusted value of 95.93 and R square prediction is 95.68, P value of hold time is 0, 0.00 and for number of holds is 0 0.374. Now let us go to the main sheet and see the comparison of the results. See so F value of 932.79 and the P value for hold time and number of holds is 0 0.00 and 0 0.374 which I have already spoken of. S value is 0 0.213. R square adjusted value is 95.93 and the R square prediction is 95.68%. The important thing to note in this particular model is VIF value which is 1.74. As I have already explained if this value is greater than 1 it shows multicollinearity and which could be a problem in the model. So let us see what is the uh, R square adjusted value for hold time and number of holds. Let us go to Minitab and study these two variables. I will use fitted line plot to study these two variables and the path for that is stat, regression and fitted line plot. I will put hold time in response and number of holds in predictor. And this is the graph that you will get. And the graph says R square adjusted value of 42% which is less than 65%. However, the relationship is still there. It is that multicollinearity exists. So if you go back to the slides again and see the multicollinearity factor R square adjusted value of 42% which indicates multicollinearity but not a strong one but still we will consider that while we are creating the model. If you look at all these three models above the best one is model number one where hold time is uh, checked with the call cycle time. If you look at the F value which is the highest, S value which is the lowest, R square adjusted and predicted values are the highest and VIF factor is one. So hold time is the best predictor variable for call cycle time. So hence the regression equation for that is 
कॉल साइकिल टाइम इज इक्वल टू अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू ऑफ टू पॉइंट एट जीरो थ्री टू प्लस देर इज द कोफिशियंट विच इज टू पॉइंट टू थ्री नाइन सेवन इन टू होल्ड टाइम सो फ्रेंड्स बाई नाउ यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड वट इज मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन वट इज मल्टी कोलिनियरिटी एंड वट आर दीज एफ वैल्यूज एंड एस वैल्यूज एंड वट इज देर इंपॉर्टेंस इन दी रिग्रेशन मॉडलिंग If you like this video please share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching